So I decided I'm going to start reviewing, buying cases, reviewing them for you guys. So you know if it's something you might want of your artwork on your own phone. So this one is by Case Envy. I'll put a link in the description. But this is, I did my flamingo. And the case that I did, I actually did two flamingos. I'm on a flamingo kick. So this is a two part case. I did the one that's supposed to be a little bit more sturdy. It's got the outer case with the artwork on it. It looked so good on this. And I went with a glossy case so because I know I'm gonna get paint all over it inevitably. I always have paint on my hands. It ends up on my phone case. I wanted it to be able to wipe off easily. And then, so these two just go together and it pops on and off the phone. The things that I'm not sure about on this one, if you look at the corners, that the that's just the plastic stuff. I've got the rubbery stuff inside of it. So I think, I feel like the phone is pretty well protected, but I have a feeling if I drop this, this hard plastic, I don't know how many drops it's gonna manage to live through. The actual corners are the hard plastic and I, ha I don't know, we'll see. I drop my phone often enough. Sooner or later, we're going to find out how it handles it, but that seems a little bit questionable. I do like, in my case, it has the rim that comes out in front of that, in front of my cameras. This is the Samsung S22 Ultra. So the, the camera lenses come out. They did plan well enough that that sticks out and it protects the lenses if it's laying flat on something, which is nice. Um, so, I mean, I've been pretty happy with it. I normally use OtterBoxes. So the OtterBox you can see is much larger. This is the middle range OtterBox. But it's also like, I've been using it for a year now and it is warped, you can see here. Like it's just, it's not lining up on my phone very nicely at all, but there's the difference in size. It's, the OtterBox is quite a bit bigger. I feel like the OtterBox is more protection, obviously it's an OtterBox, but it's also a big ugly OtterBox. So anyway, yeah, these I'm super happy with. It's not something that I'm selling, but if you wanna get your own artwork printed on a phone case, this I think is really, really cool. You can do your own artwork. And I think that's the, the really fun thing there is to do your own. You can obviously do photos of, your dogs or whatever, but I really like the idea of artwork. Both of these, I both I did glossy on both. They both printed beautifully. I'll, have to, I'll, I'll update you in the future to let you know how it handles when I have an inevitably drop the phone. But I was also worried of being the gloss, if it would start sliding off tables and stuff. It's not really sliding around a lot. I had another one that had that glossy type finish. That thing was sliding off everything. Like you would touch it and it would go flying. So it protected the phone because it kept flying off everything I set it on, but that hasn't been an issue. Things are, are staying put. It's probably because the rim around the, actually I bet that's why it's that rubbery bit around the camera is keeping it from sliding. But yeah, they're pretty cool.